Hey folks, it's Brad LeDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. Today we're looking at a 2019 Chevrolet Suburban. Now this Suburban comes in a different, a couple different configurations, but this happens to be the Z71, the Z71 in Canada, Midnight Edition. You can see you got the painted to black, painted to match black, door handles and mirrors, also on the tires, the front honeycomb grill, and the front and rear badges are black as well. So lots of black, really sharp. And you can walk around this thing here. I like that little touch of chrome with all this black. It looks really, really sharp. Got a really nice um, Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain tire on this as well. It's not the, the, the one like we have on our trucks. That's the, the more off-road tire. It's still an aggressive grip, trip, tread on this unit. You can see you got your black boards on this as well. Let's move around to the back. Suburban's got lots of capabilities. So the, you've got a 5.3 liter V8 with a six speed automatic transmission, putting out 383 foot pounds of torque and 355 pounds of, or 355 horsepower. And you've got best in class towing at up to 8,300 pounds. And what's crazy about this is behind this third row here, right here, you've got 1,100 and 13 actually to be exact liters of cargo capabilities or nearly 40 cubic feet so it's amazing the amount of storage you have in this vehicle you got this little you can pull up this handle there's some other little storage options in here power for a cooler you've got your power lift gate whoa let's zoom in on that it's not uh here you go adjusting and like i said you've got different configurations in this vehicle so depending on the trim that you have you might go with your power folding uh, second and third row seats. Uh, we opted for the eight pa passenger capability in this one. So you got a third row bench, your second row bench, and then your two captain chairs in the front. So lots of capabilities. Any uh, you know big budget movie you watch, this is what the government officials are driving in real life and also in the movies. And what's also awesome about this here in Canada, the Suburban is the vehicle of choice for the hockey family. You've got piles of room for big hockey bags. You can stack two goalie bags and then two more hockey bags, and you still got room for lots of kids inside the vehicle. So a fantastic vehicle, lots of traction, obviously, for winter driving. You've got a G80 auto locking rear differential. So, you know, let's say if there's a one of this, these rear wheels start to spin, it locks both rear tires. So again, you get that better traction, 100% of power to back both wheels until they, uh, so that you can get up and go, I guess. Is the easiest way to say it. Moving inside to the second row, you can see you got a really nice double stitching. It's really soft touch materials, different touch, different feeling on this. You got a little cubby holes. Again, another cup holder here. Really nice, comfortable seats, really nice and contoured as well. Again, three passenger here, three passenger in the third row as well. Nice big center console here for armrests, cup holders. You see back here, you've got a couple, some more connectivity power outlets. You can adjust your climate control back here as well. Moving on into the other inside here. Get to the driver's door. You see all your power options here. This one, you've got your power memory seat. So you can set two different, you know, again, if mom's driving it, dad's driving it, set it up that way. Um, you've got your, down here, you can see Bose premium audio system. Uh, you've got the nice C71 badging here also on the door sill, but also on the uh, on the uh, um, floor liners, I guess is what you call them. They're nice and contoured as well. You've got your 10-way power driver seat with your power lumbar support as well. I'm just going to step on inside. you got your automatic headlights here. And when we talk about capabilities, again, you've got two high, auto 4x4, 4 high, 4 low. If it's snowing out, you're on gravel roads, dirt roads, that sort of stuff, we recommend it to be an auto 4x4. If you're driving and it's a bad storm or you're in mud, say it's raining really hard, um, I should say if it's snowing really hard or if you're on really loose gravel, you might want to lock it in the 4 high. Otherwise, all other driving conditions, auto 4x4 is great. If it's bare asphalt you're driving on, we recommend 2 high. That way you're going to get the best possible fuel economy. Moving over here, you've got power pedals again for different heights of people. You can make nice little comfort. You've got hill um, start assist. So kind of really neat thing that'll do for you is that if you're parked on an incline or a decline and you got a trailer behind you, again, you can tow up to 8,300 pounds with this vehicle. And um, you that transition from the brake to the gas pedal, when you're in gear, it won't roll ahead for, uh, 
roll ahead or roll backwards on you. Um, you've also got your lane departure warning. So again, if it, it uses a front camera up here, okay, behind the rear view mirror, and for, obviously it's facing ahead. And if you, uh, it, it actually measures the reflectiveness of the dotted lines on the shoulder in the center of the road. And again, if you're drifting over, it'll give you an audible warning as well. You got your tractor control, and you also got those rear sonar assist, park assist sensors. Also, because we've got that camera up there as well, we've also got your forward collision alert. So again, pretty neat. This little jog dial here controls what you see up on the screen up here. Just gonna get the quality up here so you can just scroll through this. It's a brand new vehicle with seven kilometers on it. All the different information. Then you can go down through the sub menu, say options, go to metric. Obviously, if you're in the US, you'd change that to your US information pages. And you can select a bunch of different pages, engine hours, transmission fluid, off-road is one I like. Let's go back to that, go back to information. And now it'll show you, I'll just turn that jog dial again to auto four by four and you'll see. There you go. Also shows that we're on a little bit of a, a incline as well. So pretty neat stuff. Moving on over, again, because this is a Suburban with the Midnight Edition, the Z71 Midnight Edition, you get this premium heated leather interior. Again, you've got three levels of heat for your back and bum or just your bum. And again, pretty straightforward there. Nice center console, connectivity, some more cup holders, some more connectivity inside, really deep cargo, kind of cavernous little light down there as well. Moving on up, you can see here you've got your dual zone automatic climate control or tri-zone because of this. And you can lock the rear so you're in control or you can let them in the back control it. Okay, moving on up, you've got the My Chevrolet infotainment system, which is a really nice unit. We've had this in many vehicles for many years. It's really, um, it was game changer for us because you have the Wi-Fi, the 4G LTE Wi-Fi in the vehicle. Uh, you've got a hotspot in the vehicle. You've got your outside temperature sensor, your timer here. And it's super quick, very easy, intuitive to use. There's no lag on this at all. And that's some of the things that people loved about it. But on top of that, you've got projection. The newer version looks very similar, different icons, and it has embedded into it the Android Auto and also the Apple CarPlay. Whereas right now, the older system, um, which again is still fantastic, has projection. So you touch projection and it will project your iPhone, uh, your waypoints, your audiobooks, all that sort of stuff onto the screen. So you've got that familiarity of your own iPhone or your own Android phone. Another little th neat thing here is you've got a volt in this vehicle. Just push that button. Another USB charger inside of there. Let's hold that button to close it back up. You've got your Homelink garage door programmer right here. Sorry, get in on that. You've got your uh, power lift gate, so you can control that with your remote fob, which is also remote start as well. You got power sliding uh, sunroof, and again with that uh, rear hatch, maybe you have a lower garage, so you only want to set it to three quarters if you can see that, so that you don't bump the roof. But there you go. Here's your sunroof. A little shot through the back, but a really comfortable, quiet, smooth vehicle. Great for uh, hockey culture here in Canada because of the room. And uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with hockey, but it is uh, Canada's national uh, uh, pastime. We, we're all into it, men, women alike, uh, boys and girls. And there's we play shinny all the time. It's a great sport, great activity. And lots of people do, that's what they do all winter long, is travel on the highway to different small towns playing hockey with their kids. It's a really fun thing to do. I'm involved in it myself. I coach. And it's really super fun. So if you're uh, maybe not from Canada watching this video, uh, you should strap on a pair of skates or come up and visit Canada. It's a fun thing to try out. And we really appreciate you watching our videos here at Western GM. And check out more at westerngmdrumheller.com or on our YouTube page. And uh, we really thank you for uh, your time. Have a great day.